about the non-tech techie. And I want to show you today Hexify. So what is Hexify? Hexify is an app that can help you scrape any page that you are browsing. And it does this pretty easily. And me being a non-techie, um, setting up automations where I have to use webhooks or whatever technical APIs, whatever those technical terms are, it could be difficult for me. And so if you are like me, like uh, getting lost on these technical jargons and you wanted to get data from the web, then please watch. So Hexify is from Hexac, which is the same makers of Hexawatch and Hexomatic and Hexaspark. I've personally used Hexawatch and Hexomatic, and I can really vouch on how easy these two are to use. Now, I could technically use Hexomatic for these uh, use case. However, if I want to uh, do just one page, to do, to do it with Hexify is much, much easier. And then this is how it goes. So Hexify, it says it can capture data from any page like magic. And yes, I agree with that. It's like, wow, when I found out how it works, it was really cool. And it makes it effortless to tap into your favorite website. So you can scrape Amazon, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, what is CB? I don't know. Twitter, okay, um, eBay, Product Hunt, so whatever, basically any page that you are on. So let's start. So I am right now here on Deal Mirror, all deals page, and let's see what Hexify says. So here, um, there isn't much data. So let's create a new template. Um, let's see, text one. Nothing. So let's just delete everything here. Okay, and let's add custom elements. So we're going to make custom template. So the first one that I want to get here is... the application name which in this case is this one, fix a time lifetime deal. Okay, and that is a text, apply. So the next one I want to capture is the price. And I say, this is the one. Oh. Uh, this this let's set this one again and that is text apply okay now this one we delete why did that happen so this is price and this is application name so sorry about that but hey this is real time and this is the second time i did it okay let's delete this one And the last element that I want to capture is the deal URL, which would be at coming from here, and we say link URL, apply. Okay, so I think we are set. I have the application name, the price, and the deal URL, and... How come it's doing that to me? Okay. So just make sure that you check what are what fields are captured. So let's delete this part. And we have application name, price, and deal URL. So this is a new recipe. Let's say deal mirror. Um, all deals. So this is my template. If I want to scrape from the deal mirror all deals um, page. So let's cross this one out. All right. So let's say save. So it's already saved. And all this is real time. This I'm doing this live. And let's see what Hexify has for us. 
and there you go so things are showing up it uh scrape 24 entries and this one is showing 1 to 24 of 129 results so if i want to scrape the next pages all i have to do is again uh run a template i believe in the next page so this one i already got it i want to download the csv and there is a csv So here you can see that it has downloaded the application name, the price, and the deal URL. Now from here, I can easily create my affiliate link. So by adding um, something at the end with my affiliate um, identifier or ID. So that's it. Uh, I think it's so easy to use it. And let's try to use it on the next page as well. So this was on page one and let's see if I want to go to page two. Okay, so now I am on page two and we also have about uh, 24 to capture here. And let's see. So 24 entries have been captured and the first one that they have there is mean chat, which is this one and the price of 49 which is this and again i can download the csv okay it went up there okay so this is mean chat uh, the one that started with uh, mean chat so this is page two so it's very easy now to capture the deal urls from any website so basically you can capture anything from any website and it's just way too easy to use so there you have it i hope that you like this tutorial and i hope that you now find out how easy it is to use hexify if you want to scrape web pages that you are currently browsing so until next time and i will post a link of where you can get Hexify in the video description.